Athlone is a town on the River Shannon near the southern shore of Loch Rhee in Ireland. Located on the border between County Westmeath and County Ruscommon, the development of the Athlone owes much to the location of a strategic fort on the Shannon. The fort at this point on the River Shannon has been in use since at least the Bronze Age, and the settlement expanded around this river crossing. The fort of Athlone was strategically important, as south of Athlone the River Shannon is impassable until Clonmacnoise, and north is Loch Rhee. The two mortars in front of the medieval dungeon of Athlone Castle are believed to date to the Williamite Wars, and were previously located outside the main entrance of Custom Barracks. By the 11th century, Turtlebach U.A. Crawhor had built a wooden bridge at Athlone, approximately 100 meters south of the current bridge. This was defended by the earliest recorded fort on the site, built on the west bank of the river in 1129. On a number of occasions both the fort and bridge were subject to attacks, and towards the end of the 12th century the Anglo-Normans constructed a Mott and Bailey fortification here. This was superseded by a stone structure built in 1210 by Justiciar John de Grey. Becoming known as Athlone Castle, this 12-sided dungeon dates from the 13th century. Other parts of the castle were largely destroyed during the siege of Athlone and the external defences were subsequently rebuilt and enlarged. The currently visible battlements and cannon emplacements were installed to prevent a French fleet from sailing up the River Shannon and establishing a bridgehead in Loch Rhee. The castle was later damaged by a lightning strike on the powder store. The castle was also home to a small garrison, and provided housing for several families until the 1980s. These quarters now house part of the castle museum. During the wars that took place in Ireland during the 17th century, Athlone held a strategic position, holding the main bridge over the Shannon into Connaught. In the Irish Confederate Wars 1641-1653, the town was held by Irish Confederate troops until it was taken late in 1650 by Charles Coote, who attacked the town from the west, having crossed into Connaught at Sligo. Forty years later, during the Williamite War in Ireland, the town was again of strategic importance, being one of the remaining Jacobite strongholds after they had retreated west following the Battle of the Boyne. At the First Battle of Athlone in 1690, the Jacobite forces of Colonel Richard Grace repelled an attack by 10,000 men led by Commander Douglas. The following year the Siege of Athlone saw a further assault in which the troops of King William III eventually prevailed against the outnumbered defenders. The current bridge was built in the 19th century to replace the old bridge which was becoming dangerous to the increasing volume of traffic. Originally the bridge had a movable section which was decommissioned in the mid-20th century. Also during the mid-19th century, the Board of Works built a weir wall south of Athlone to improve the navigation of the river. Irish soldiers marching across the bridge in Athlone for the handover of Custom Barracks, 1922. The town's barracks occupies a large area of the west bank of the River Shannon. Athlone Barracks, named Victoria Barracks in 1837, was renamed Custom Barracks in 1922 by General Sean McEwen, Independence Fighter and 1st Gawk Western Command. It is named after a Sergeant Custom who, during the 1691 siege of Athlone, led a dozen volunteers out under the Dutch guns to tear down a wooden bridge. The barracks was the headquarters of the Western Command of the Irish Defence Forces until a reorganisation in 2013. It remains the headquarters of several infantry, artillery and engineering regiments of the Defence Forces. The original entrance to the barracks was where the current Garda station is today. Other fortifications in the area include the ruins of a battery just to the north of Athlone and a large artificial hill called the Batteries upon which council housing has been built. The Connaught side was defended by a fosse which no longer exists. The noted tenor John McCormack was born in here in 1884 in an area known as the Bon. Sean's Bar is considered by some to be Ireland's oldest pub. It was established on the west bank of the River Shannon on Main Street. In 1970, during renovations, the walls of the bar were found to be made of wattle and wicker. Historical surveys, as recorded in the Record of Monuments and Places and the National Inventory of Architectural Heritage, date the building to the 17th or 18th century, while possibly containing the fabric of earlier buildings. On the east side of town, off Northgate Street, is an intact example of a famine-era workhouse. The building, renamed St. Mary's Hall, now hosts several youth groups and includes a large meeting room. Within sight of the workhouse building is a historic abbey. From the annals of Anisfallen. Thanks for watching.